After almost a decade of living in 2K Shadow, NBA Live has finally started making a comeback with NBA Live 18. NBA 2K18 received a user review score of 1.6. Why? Well, let's read the top comment in the user review section. Seriously, I'm Canadian. I paid $79.99 plus tax for a game that I'm basically forced to spend another $60 for to be playable. Fans are waking up. The greed is unreal. I'm glad NBA Live is stepping up. This is blatantly disrespectful for 2K to do this to its loyal fan base. Now, this is just a drop in the ocean of negative comments, all of which talk about the same thing, microtransactions, known in 2 2K as VC or virtual currency. VC has always been present in NBA 2K games, but never to this extent. You need to spend your hard-earned cash for everything in this game, from haircuts to your overall rating as a player. Imagine grinding day and night to get your overall player score up to, say, 85, and have your guy absolutely trashed by someone who bought the game yesterday but decided to spend 50 bucks to turn his player from rookie to superstar overnight. This isn't a straw that breaks the camel's back, it's a haystack made of poisonous needles needles, the poison being greed. It's crystal clear that 2K have gone mad with power because treating your amazingly loyal player base like this is nothing short of absolute madness. If you think we're lying, well fair enough, but numbers never do. A user score of 1.6 for a sports game? <laughs> we rest our case. So what does all this mean for NBA Live 18? Now that is an interesting story. After the poor reception of NBA Live 16 by players and critics alike, EA decided to take a hiatus with their NBA Live series in order to invest two years of development in NBA Live 18. Not only that, when they finally released the game, they put a price tag on it of only £35, which is £20 cheaper than its 2K rival. The game also went on sale in February this year and it cost only £8 on both the Xbox and PlayStation Store. This was clearly an attempt to try and get some of their once enormous player base back because what basketball fan wouldn't spend eight pounds to get a AAA basketball game, right? Surprised and downright disappointed with the route 2K decided to take with their franchise, we decided to invest our time and money in NBA Live this time around. And boy, did we make the right decision. Two years of development really do show in NBA Live 18, from graphics to overall gameplay. Sure, the player movements are still not on par with those of 2K, and there's an obvious lack of animations and player likeness factors, such as signature moves, unique shooting and dribbling styles, and so on. We're still very pleased with what EA accomplished with NBA Live 18. The game is just very fun to play, which is what it simply must be. It is a sports game after all, and although there's still a lot of room for improvement, it's definitely a step in the right direction. NBA Live 18 offers a number of different modes to choose from. You have the Wand, which is a new career mode in the NBA Live series, Ultimate Team, Franchise Mode, Head to Head Online, and so on. There are two features which were added to the game later on through patches and updates, the 3 vs 3 online mode and roster editing. Both of these features were requested by fans and soon enough they got what they wanted, which shows that EA Sports actually listened to their fan base and they try to meet their demands at least halfway. And of course, as you expect, they started bringing back players to their own virtual playgrounds. It literally takes a few seconds to find teammates to play an online pickup game with, as opposed to previous versions of the game where the servers were filled with tumbleweed and echoes of what NBA Live used to be. NBA Live 18 is slowly but surely giving 2K a run for their precious money. So what do EA Sports need to do to make NBA Live 19 their best basketball game to date? Well, if you ask us, it's actually very simple. They just need to look back on their 2005 title, the game that's deemed a basketball masterpiece by fans throughout the world. That game had three-point shot and dunk contests. It had classic, legendary players like Michael Jordan, Reggie Miller, Larry Bird, and so on. If EA managed to implement these modes and add these legendary all-stars to NBA Live 19, that in itself will be a huge leap towards retaking the throne. 
Knocking down threes with Larry Bird and performing a 360 dunk with Vince Carter is already a treat by itself, but since EA owned the Frostbite engine, we think it's a no-brainer that they should upgrade the new game's visuals and animations with it, just like they did with FIFA 17. So if you think about it, all EA need to do with NBA Live 19 is just implement the things that they already own. This is their best shot at closing the gap that's become a gaping chasm between them and 2K in the last decade, so they should definitely definitely put the pedal to the metal. Now, we don't want to come off as 2K haters here, quite the contrary, we've actually bought and enjoyed every 2K title thus far, but we cannot lie and we do not want to hide our disappointment with NBA 2K18, and we believe in giving praise and credit where it's due, so we have to commend EA Sports on doing a great job with NBA Live 18. The perfect scenario for us and all the other players would of course be that both companies come out with mind-blowing games this year. We want to have problems as to which basketball game to choose and with 2K falling off last year and live stepping it up, this will be an interesting year to say the least. But let us know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Did the microtransactions ruin your 2K experience like it did ours? And do you think that NBA Live has the potential to become the king of basketball games like it used to be back in the day? We would love to hear your thoughts on this and please make sure to head over to alcar.com for much more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Subreal and see you in the next video.